and frankly the the there needs to be a maturing understanding of that if you can build great games that are games first within you know this um new environment that it will change the paradigm for how people look at both spaces but there has to be you know better more mature games that just don't feel any different to core gamers right it can, and and it can't um it can't just feel like a kind of a farming um you know for revenue that that's not going to work as a game ecosystem now um how do we get there and how do i think we just you know we have to stay the course and build the game which is what we're doing but i think to satisfy the web3 audience while it is going to take a while to build the that's why we're kind of taking a, a strategy of giving them and giving the audiences things that are within the world of ashfall and and um uh things that we can build and share and and you know use while building the game so for instance again this idea of okay well we did i don't know that we'll do this tiktok thing again but that was an experiment that we did that's in the ip and that leads to the comic and the comic is there's a six issue series so that people can along the way you know kind of have a monthly experience and then you and and, and enjoy a really good story and characters that are within the world and then we'll release other things that are able to be connected to the larger game right they might be um a card game that's like glint on witcher that kind of plugs into ashfall um that might that's something we're exploring again things that will give players and fans things to participate whilst the game is in development and as we develop core features that we could potentially release as standalone like the UGC pieces those might be something that players can interact with and trade and build while again we're building the core experience that's going to take years yeah no 100% and you know i i have a couple of questions i want to get into with you guys and bounty block and some of the aspects you guys are facilitating together but i love the mindset around you know we see you know if you talk to like traditional people and like normal people in the world and you say web two or web three, they don't really know what right. you're talking about, but I'll, I'll bring up the example here anyways. Um, it seems like you guys are taking a very web 2.5 approach, which is brilliant. And you're doing it from the ground floor up where you have all the experience, you know how to build these successful games, you know, you know how to make games for gamers first. And then being, the, I, I think you guys have a huge front run, in this ecosystem, just because of the fact that over the next year, two years, however long it takes to develop the game, you guys have the ability to monitor the market, take suggestions potentially, and then inject in Web3 or crypto value in ways that makes yeah. sense for gamers as, as time goes on. Um, so I, I love the ethos. I love the mindset. Um, I wanted to maybe get into um, Bounty Block as well and open the floor up and act actually ask the Bounty Block team a background of themselves as well as a history and their experience in Web3 uh, also. Uh, if you guys could uh, could come up to the floor, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so I'm uh, Dimitris here uh, from Bounty Block. I'm the co-founder. Um, and as she, as nice to see you, Michael. I see Hashback uh, and a bunch of friends up here. Uh, so we've been around this space for a really long time. Uh, you know, we, we launched uh, back, in, back in the day on Wax uh, in 2019. And then uh, we, you know, we got we got on Polygon and then Hedera. Um, our, our, we're a company based in Montreal. We're a team of eight. Uh, before before Web three and, and blockchain stuff, we were a dev shop. For uh, you know, me and my partner Jan, we've been coding for like eighteen to twenty years. Okay, a really long time. We're actually coders. Our, our team is strong, is a strong tech, you know, mostly developers, uh, strong tech team. And uh, we've built a lot of apps for big companies, especially in the fintech world. And 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 what we what we've learned was they all they all wanted the same thing. How do we get our users to do more stuff, right? On my website at the time, right? Like go here, click this, do this, right? So uh, they all wanted some some level of uh, gaming mechanics uh, within their app. And over the years, you know, we, we you know we started uh, 
pick, picking the, the few good stuff. And, and, and then we ended up building a SaaS at the time where they can integrate and define a bunch of tasks. It was quite, it was quite nice. But then blockchain came along and, uh, things kind of changed because with, with NFTs and, uh, you know, like uh, it added an, 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 an extra level of, uh, ways to uh, add these kind of gaming mechanics uh, that you didn't have. For example, uh, let's say you have a, a video game, right? Let's say you have a game and, and you want, you know, uh, you want to create a, you want to encourage your users to go and, def- go and find the blue ogre and defeat him, right? Uh, and if you do, come and claim your points. So we can check on-chain, uh, you know, uh, uh, actions done from that, from, from a user, and it's it's on-chain, right? So it's like, there's a there's a real audit trail there that they actually went and did that task right, so it's kind of nice it's kind of nice because we can you know fast forward to today we launched the uh, you know bonding block and all our contest tools and all that stuff and uh, uh, we, you know we give projects the ability to define these kind of uh, giveaways uh, where they, they they specify a bunch of tasks for their users to do it's you know it's it's ongoing right we're um, it's evolving with a huge uh, uh, roadmap uh, based directly from feedback from projects. And, uh, you know, we, what we did was we took what Gleam did. Uh, and for those who don't know what Gleam is, it's like a, a Web2 style uh, giveaway platform where you go and you define a contest. You, you know, you give it an image, description, right? And it's all social tasks. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, Discord. It's, it's all there, right? We took that and we wanted to add a Web3 twist to it, uh, you know, combining it with like blockchain tasks or Web3 tasks. So, do a bunch of social tasks because that's important for my brand, but also uh, encourage users to go and and, and perform maybe ta- you know um, you know burn certain NFTs or complete a, a collection or uh, you know perform something in game. So uh, we kind of took both the, the best of both worlds and and and, and put it together in, in one in one package. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And I mean, I think you know what we and you guys have been here doing this for quite some time around. Um, community participation and, you know, really it's a numbers game with, with what you guys or, or what, what it's traditionally done, I think. So I guess the question for me becomes like through Bounty Block, like what have you guys analyzed in the market in a way that that really does create fans or community outside of just like these these tasks? Um, you know what I mean? To like drive, you know, to drive engagement because en- engagement is great. But how do we really create fans and community members? Is that something that Bounty Block has been, you know, yeah. consistently monitoring and trying to adapt towards is, you know, where do we go from the Gleam initiatives? And it, again, if you guys aren't familiar with Gleam, it's like, you know, you can earn 10 points and one point is if you follow on Twitter, one point is if you join the Discord, X, Y, and Z. How do you start that participation uh, aspect to really create fans for the brands that you guys are trying to support um, as an organization, I guess would be a question I would have, because I'm sure you guys have thought about it. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, w- what 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 we've seen? So we, we did things very pragmatically. You know, we started small, and we you know we work closely with projects and communities, from artists to like um, uh, games or even you know P- PFP communities. What we've learned was uh, uh, a lot of the communities. Obviously, every brand and game and project want to grow their communities, and f- without even realizing, just by looking back back at all our, the contests that that are running on 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 our tools. There's a lot of collaborations. Like, for example, we saw a lot of communities collaborating with each other, cross-pollinating. So, for example, your project A and, 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 and your project B, well, you know, how many times can you ask your community to follow you on Twitter, right? So, after a while, it's like most of them are following you, so there's not a lot of return there. But they collaborate with other projects on, on, in the space, and we see that a lot. And by doing this type of collaboration... Well, the, this community gets to find out about that community and vice versa, you know, follow A and then follow B and get points. And then it creates the both communities kind of grow that way. Right. And then you multiply that with other projects uh, uh, in, in the space. And I think that's possible because Web3 right now is still very small. The communities are relatively small compared to like, let's say, you know, the, the Web2 world. And I feel like uh, ev- everyone is kind of available reachable and and you're able to kind of hey you want to collaborate with a project and then they, they go on bonnie block they launch this contest with like a, a, you know a, a graphic that's that's like 50 percent of their brand and 50 percent of that or sometimes we see like four-way call collabs or, or so it's something we, we notice and we and we uh and, and yeah it, it's, it's quite exciting that they're using our tools for that purpose yeah i mean it's certainly something that we've you know, I totally agree with that, with, with the mindset, because um, it's something that we've been trying to accomplish 
pretty much since day one is breaking down silos between different ecosystems or different projects. Because once you open the doors up and you get people, it doesn't even matter if they're building on the same network. You get people um, talking about what problems they're trying to solve um, in crypto and Web3 for mass adoption. I mean, everybody has <clears throat> really great, you know, initiatives that, they're, that you know, if, they're, if you're not a scammer, like. Everybody that's actually trying to build something has great initiatives and getting people that might not normally be in the same rooms together is is invaluable, in my opinion. It's, and, and it's going to create that kind of patchwork of interoperability moving forward that really does uh, mitigate these boom and bust cycles that we've seen and creates kind of a level of sustainability moving forward. I want to ask both Lisa, uh, Lethos and um, and Bounty Block um, kind of the, uh, the decision-making process or the reasoning um, – uh, behind moving into the Hedera ecosystem. So I'll start with Bounty Block. Um, I know that you guys are kind of OG within the Polygon ecosystem and some other ecosystems. What made you guys decide to uh, also start trying to uh, support the Hedera network? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so to be super, to be super uh, transparent with you about that, uh, we, like my partner and I, were very, uh, you know, like we don't want to be on, on every chain and, you know, we're a small team. We, you know, we want to be careful where we go. Uh, the thing with Hedera, in our, in our view, is that, I mean, you can see, you know, just that, that that committee, the list of committee members and, and valid those nodes that are on there already bring this kind of like a real, uh, you know, mainstream uh, brand awareness, right? LG and Dell recent, all, all that stuff. So for sure, that ca- that caught our attention. But what really made, uh, what really sealed the deal was uh, uh, when we uh, obviously met uh, people in the community like we met a lot of people in the Hedera Foundation we met the you know Zeps Zepsi and uh, Alex and all those guys and then they introduced us to like uh, you know Dante from Hash Access and then you know all of a sudden we were like in a bunch of telegram groups with a bunch of projects building there everyone just on the same boat uh, collaborating and it's it felt it didn't feel like work it felt like man we're all you know we're all Working together, and it was very fun and, and and nice to see that there's uh, this type of heartbeat. And then to take it further, I got involved with like uh, the PHP communities, which I'm a bit of a noob in general, even on, on all chains. I never really went on Spaces or even buy NFTs. I just I don't know why I just didn't, not for no real reason. I just and and you know just by getting a Ghost Pixel or a, or um you know um you know I, I got a I got a few NFTs on on Hedera, and all of a sudden. I'm 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 on these spaces. I'm speaking to them. Uh, I met Orbis. She puts me on these other spaces, and uh, all of a sudden she gives. It's it's that whole thing, right? And and that's what really caught our attention. Is like it's it's vibrant. It's alive, and uh, it's 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 also growing. And it's 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 a nice space, and the technology is really great. Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I mean, I think we've seen. I mean, being here since late. Oh, well, I mean, being in Hedera since probably 2019 with Testnet, if if it was 2019 when you. You used to have to like scroll down through articles to get my, to get micro payments on testnet. I remember doing that. Um, but you see, like I think, I, especially over the, probably like the past, I would say four to six months. Um, you brought you brought up or, uh, Orbis eighty six. Um, I mean, she's been doing fantastic work with these spaces, uh, bringing people in from from different communities, whether that be the Solana community or the Ethereum community. Um, when we did the hash and times thing, we had two people come up that were like board API club holders, uh, that have had launched a project on Ethereum. Uh, it's fantastic to see all that. Also, Altom is doing something very similar with all these spaces. We've consistently seen people create synergy and try to break down some of these silos. So I'll also ask, um, Lethos, maybe just a brief, um, description around like why you guys decided to utilize and leverage you know, the Hedera network and to start building uh, within this ecosystem. Yeah. So obviously a, a big part of it was, um, the, um, green nature and the speed and transactions, um, just how the technology is working. Um, when we were looking at, um, you know, what, you know, chains to be partnering with and looking at uh, Dara made the most sense for us. And frankly, also, they're making really, really great strategic partnerships on the technology sides. So obviously, Dell and Ubisoft. And um, and so it just feels like it's, a, it's, it's, you know, not one of the, you know, at least last year, not one of the, the chains that everybody was looking at for, you know, entertainment and gaming. But I honestly think that that's the opportunity here for us to kind of help 
drive that conversation um, and bring more awareness to this chain and and um, and help grow the ecosystem, um, which I think is, you know, I think this is the best chain to be on right now. Yep, I, I you know, I, I, I will. I have a lot of synergy and thought with that just because like early 2021. And again, I apologize. My voice sounds like crap. I've had the flu since Friday. So bear with me guys. Um, early 2021, we really did see start like, <clears throat> a, a, and I'm sure the bounty block guys saw this, a pivot into like starting to hear things about people maybe using polygon for different aspects, whether it be DeFi, whether it be NFTs, whether it be, you know, the first um, imp- uh, implementations of maybe gamification, things like that. I would say people that have, people that witnessed that what happened with Polygon at the beginning of 2021 over the past six months that are watching what's going on with Hedera right now that have been here long enough to recognize that there's a lot of similarities with what's actually going on and these people are starting to take notice of the Hedera network the services being built out the capabilities the speed the utility um, I think it's fantastic so 